we will have a look at the parameters that we parameters and the values that were used in the simulation the channel bandwidth the lte channel bandwidth was fixed at 5 megahertz which is one of the several options available the number of ues was restricted to 1 and we assumed a uh, ciso antenna technique with one transmitter and receiver antenna the channel quality indicator was um, fixed to 4, 8 and 11 simulations were run on for 4, 8 and 11 corresponding to each corresponding to QPSK, 16 QAM and 64 QAM the number of subframes was chosen to be 5000 which is a good enough number to achieve a meaningful results so let's look at the performance criteria that was being used for uh, the various estimation techniques so one of the per major performance criteria of an estimation technique is um, the average bit error rate so in this plot we show a comparison of BER versus plotted against SNR for four different um, estimation schemes the least squares uncoded coded and MMSE uncoded and coded we can see that the red lines the red curves which correspond to the coded implementations give much better performance compared to the least squares and MMSE uncoded and as expected the MMSE uncoded gives better performance although marginally than the least squares estimation method the the previous slide the simulations were performed for an additive white Gaussian noise channel the same simulations were performed for a relay flat fading channel it was performed for CQI is equal to 4 which corresponds to QPSK we could see that these curves were close to each other but MMSE gave superior performance compared to least squares to compare the performance across several modulation schemes we performed the simulations for QPSK 16 QAM and 64 QAM in a relay fading channel um, with minimum mean square error so the results are as expected the lower modulation scheme which is QPSK gives a better error performance compared to 16 QAM and 64 QAM for a particular value of SNR the bit error rates are much lower for QPSK but higher order modulations they pack more symbols and hence they are spectrally more efficient and they improve the data rate so this plot is uh, gives the curves of BER versus SNR for, for the case where the comparison is performed between least squares MMSE and we assume that perfect channel knowledge is present at the receiver so if a perfect if the receiver had perfect knowledge of the channel then how would it detect the symbols the comparison was performed in this plot so we can see that the green curve which is the minimum mean square error estimate BER is very close to the scenario where the receiver has perfect knowledge of the channel so MMSE estimate is very close to perfect channel estimation or information um, finally let's discuss the conclusions and the future direction of work so we have observed that channel estimation is an essential component in any coherent detection schemes especially in wireless communications and LTE least squares method although is the, sim is the simplest and most straightforward method it just gives you a rough estimate of the channel to fine tune the channel estimates 
you need to adopt more computationally complex methods like m minimum mean square error method however minimum mean square error due to its computational complexity is very seldom used and uh, research has been undertaken in the direction of finding low complexity approximations of LMMSC using DFT and singular value decomposition methods by reducing the complexity of LMMSC. Also a new area of research is the decision directed channel estimation where the channel estimation for a previous symbol is used in the detection of the current symbol and once the current symbol is detected the channel estimation for the current symbol is carried out using the new detect newly detected symbol so by that with that we conclude this presentation this is a list of references and the simulations code would be demonstrated in a different video Thanks.